Hey guys, we are back, and as you can see, the train is being attacked by smorgs. I guess the plural of smorg is smorgs. And we are going to check on the passengers. Um, as you already saw in the last video, we already checked on the passengers, and no one is here. So the last, you know, obvious place to check is the back of the train. And... What do we have here? Holy shit, a lot of smorgs. Smorg, smorg, smorg. Okay, I guess they're like Pokemon, they can only say their names. That's cool. Oh my gosh, they're totally inside the train now. Let's take them out. Alright, just keep hammering them. You don't really need to do a spin move like I do. That doesn't really do anything. We just want to free the guys they are cluttering around. Which would be the waitress, the engineer, and the cook. Nope, nope. Just the waitress and the, and the conductor. Ah, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping scary. They seem to have come into the baggage car through that open window, and they still have many of our passengers. Oh, these poor souls. Oh, how do I get up here? How do I get up here? Okay, that's how I get up here. Alright, there we go. Anyway, um, I really never got this boss. Like, who... Who came up with the smorgs, huh? They're, like, little black flowers. But, like, I don't know what else to call them. Like... Look, look how stupid they look. I don't I don't know who came up with them, what they do. Look, they're following me now. Look at that. That wave of them coming after me. What are they? <laughs> I've never seen them in any other Mario game before, so what gives them the business being in this one? I mean, did Beldum send them? I, they're just weird little creatures. Alright, something interesting. One smorg is called a smorg. The plural of smorg. When you have more smorgs, they're called smorgs. But when you have a bunch of smorgs in one being, they go back to being called a smorg. It's weird. I don't know. What is that gross thing? No. Mario, look. It's got our, the other passengers. Help. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Goombella, and being the obvious, you know, Mr. Point out a, uh, points out the obvious a lot. All right, um... Some people have problems with this boss, but if you take it out as quickly as I do... Look, you'll see. You'll see in a second. I'm just going to do the tattle real fast, and I don't want to start talking about strategy when I know I'm going to have to interrupt myself. So, here we go. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gathered together to create this huge monster. Max speed is 50, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It has... It attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to 0, making it easier to attack. Tentacles regenerate, but use the damage to deal t time to deal a lot of damage. As other forms of higher attack powers, I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Now, if you have your attack as high as I do, then multi-bouncing this thing... Oh, that was a failure. What I was trying to say was multi-bouncing this thing makes life a whole lot easier. Because you can totally, like, t kick the crap out of this thing. It's pretty awesome. I'm just going to defend this turn, and I'm going to... What am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to take out the other leg, I guess. And then, like Goombella says, his defense drops to zero. Uh, you don't have to do this, but if your attack is as high as mine, you might as well. <laughs> Simply because uh, it gives you a turn of no uh, not being attacked, which is really nice to just get a slight break from being constantly hit. But, uh, one of its forms... Oh, great, the fog. One of its forms ends up having, like... It can do an attack of, like, 10 damage or something like that. And if you don't... If you're not careful, that can really just drain all of your health. But look at that. 50 HP, I just took out more than half in one turn. I just did, like... What did it do? 33 damage? 33, I think? Okay, this this form. If you get hit with that, which I probably will, it does, like, 10 damage. Right? Up oh, 9. And I think it might have guarded. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But, uh, yeah. Just take this thing out. It's just like any other tentacle. It's really easy to kill. And then, if I use Rallywink again... I could have just used Multibonk. But I like using Rallywink. That's why I like Goombella the best. Because she lets Mario capitalize on his huge attack power. And I sh I'm hoping I can take this thing out this turn. Look at that. Killed the big boss in, like, three, four turns. Pretty easy. <laughs> He's not difficult at all. Though he does give us a nice bit of uh, experience. And what do I want to put up? My badge? My badges? I think I want to put on my badges. What do I want to put up? Um, it's either HP or BP. Not flower power, because we already 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with HP, but not flower power, because we already decided that is kind of fruity. I don't like flower power. We could have come up with something cooler to name it, like ability points or something. Flower points? That sounds weird. Doesn't sound like it should be your abilities. But anyway, passenger saved, job well done, but no crystal star. If you haven't noticed, we still don't have one. Boy, it's like you did all the, all you did for all you did was save us for three days. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Okay, it's all thanks to you. Why didn't I press the button? That took a while. Oh, thank you so much. You saved me life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved, what did I say? Oh, I said, sh it, it said shaved, but he actually said save. The dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We, s we will soon arrive at Hoshley, uh, Hoshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. I cannot speak. And I would say today, but I say that in every video, that I can't speak today. So I think it's just, I can't speak at all. And it has nothing to do with the day I'm in. Look how nice it is here, Poshley Heights. It's all like, everything's so shiny and nice looking. Um, what I wanted to do when we got here was I wanted to stop at a uh, market or whatever, a shop, and get my uh, gold ticket. I don't remember what it's called. The hotel ticket, the free night stay, so we could stay at the hotel and get the item they give you for staying at the hotel. But I don't think there's a shop in Poshley Heights. So I couldn't get it. And, uh, yeah, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, anyway, I'm going to take off my power bounce here, and I'm going to equip... What am I doing? I want to put on my other, uh, power plus. Just to get some more HP, because I'm not going to need the power bounce for right now. And later on, I'll put on power bounce when I upgrade my BP again, but I didn't want to have, a uh, power up defense down on because I don't really like sacrificing defense for attack. If need be, then fine. But I'm more of a defensive guy, so I'm only doing the attack because it makes the uh, walkthrough run a little bit faster. So, like, I, uh, like I've been saying, later on you'll see me with more defensive uh, uh, items equipped, but as of right now I'm just going as all attack as I can to speed things up a little bit. Um, the Bob-omb family over here, is there anything in here? Uh, I don't think so. This is where the bob live. Yeah, alright. They have a really small house, despite being really, really rich. I think there's more to that house. And there's obviously a star piece around here somewhere that I'm missing, but... Oh, well, not a big deal. Um, yeah, I do not think there's a shop. There's a, ho there's a hotel. I really need to go to a shop to get the ticket, though, but that's okay. We can come back later or not come back at all. It's really not that big of an idea. Uh, not that big of a deal, and it's not like you really need to do it. Gone Traveling, Sanctum Manager. No way, this is super weak. What do we do? Ah, to my dear Luigi, what are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Pennington, what are you doing here? What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective. You really believe that? Well, yes, that is more of a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hum. Shall we go inside? You should dress like a detective. That's weird. I don't go dressing around as like a astronaut. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go, Dupless, and well, the other two people, Beldman, whatever her name is. I hate Dupless. You're one step too late. We have the Crystal Star. Hey, don't leave me with. Don't leave without me. And because Dupless is a dumbass, out the window. Oh no, we're too late. We gotta go after them. I don't want to chase them now. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Because we don't speak? Hmm, yes, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the Crystal Star in the Sanctum. Oh, ho, ho. yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The Crystal Star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that rude friend stole was unfortunately a red herring, a fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in the Sanctum to prevent such theft. However, as to the location of the Crystal Star, well, as Sanctum Manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is, of course, that you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself can find it on your own. Now, Luigi, put all the razor-sharp sleuthing seals I've taught you. Make me proud. Alright, well, this is 
once you'll see. Once you see, it's very easy to figure out. But uh, I doubt Pennington actually knows where it is because, as we've seen multiple times, Pennington and any other character in this game that's not Mario or one of his partners is really stupid. And I mean, like, really, really stupid. Like, 2 plus 2 equals 5, and they're trying to solve the, you know, mysteries of cancer. Meanwhile, their friend has a cold, and, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. They're, they're crazy. Nobody knows anything in this game. I wish they did. If somebody was competent besides Mario and Goombella, this would probably be all avoided, and everyone could have just lived a happy life, and Grotus would have been destroyed a long time ago, and we would have been happy, you know? But no, everybody has to make things difficult. Like, look. It's cool that they hit the crystal star like this, but no one could ever get to it except for Mario because he has this power. So what's the point of hiding it like this if no one can get to it? Not even the people who want it. Like, the people who own it can't even get to it. And how did... Look, look at that. Do you notice? Do you see where this pipe goes? It goes in the painting. That breaks the fourth wall beyond all belief. Like... Like I said before, what happened in Mario's world when I read, when, I, uh, when, um, oh, what was it? I don't remember what I was saying. I don't remember what I was saying. I said something in the last video about what happened in Mario's world that actually hurt him. Because nothing was actually there. But anyway, here is a boo. So I'm going to shut up now. That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. Those boos are cr so creepy. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. Just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. Well, boos are easy. There we go. And because my attack is so high, and I should be doing 6 damage regularly, uh, and said I do 6 and then 6, which is 12, I'm awesome. So we're just going to speed through these battles because, like, 12 really difficult battles turn into... 12 really simple, I'm kind of like finding Goobas kind of battle. That's how easy it is. Because all I have to do is multi-bounce, then... Actually, what when I run out of flower power, uh, this is going to be difficult, but I'm kind of hoping I don't run out of flower power, because that would make my life easier, and I don't like having a difficult life. I'm sure a lot of people can agree with that. Oh, look at all these items. I hope they drop the uh, the Thunder Rage. But no, my luck is going to be the Dizzy Dial. Yep, Dizzy Dial. Um, three more guys. Okay, I don't have enough flower power. This The last battle is going to suck. Yep, I'm going to run out. That sucks. Oh, nope, nope, we're good, we're good. Last battle is good. We're all safe. We're good. Everything is cool. Alright, there we go. I struck first. Alright, last guys. Do I level up? Do I'm anywhere near leveling up? Oh, I'm so close. That sucks. Anyway, that's... Oh, wait, there's one final thing I want to get before we end this. Uh, one little thing I think is cool. You know how Pennington keeps calling you Luigi? Well, we're going to get this badge over here. And now... Oop! Shine Sprite. Don't forget that. You always want to get that. See that big L? Now with this badge, we can really look like Luigi. And if you get the Wario badge from the ripoff artist in Rogueport, and combine it with the Luigi badge, you can look like Waluigi, which I always thought was cool. But I like looking like Luigi, because Luigi is awesome. Anyway, we got the Crystal Star, and, uh... That is basically it for this video. We now got Showstopper, and we are going to head for the eighth star, the last, the final star, yeah, and the final chapter, I believe, too. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you guys later.